Hello everyone. I'm sure you've all heard about the powerhouse of the cell that is mitochondria. But have you ever drawn the structure of a mitochondria? Well, today we are going to draw the structure of the mitochondria as we see under an electron microscope. There are details to it, but I'll make it very easy for you. So go get your pencil and paper and let's draw this together. Today we are going to learn how to draw the diagram of mitochondria with ease. Yay! So for that I have taken this paper and I will be using a ruler first to draw the reference lines. So mitochondria can have any shape. I will try to keep the diagram as much as possible to the left so that I can make the labelings on the right. So I am drawing a reference line. This will be the length of the diagram that I will be drawing. So the shape of the mitochondria can be anything that you draw. I am trying to uh, keep the structure elongated. The shape can vary. Now this that I have drawn is the outer membrane which is smooth as you can see and we will now have to draw the inner membrane. So when you are drawing the inner membrane, the inner membrane is thrown into finger like projections. So I will draw these finger like folds but you have to make sure that the distance between the outer and the inner membrane remains the same where there is no fold. Now you can make a few branches, some of the folds you can make a few branches, some of the folds are small, some of the folds go deep into the matrix. So you can draw the folds as you want. You can draw one fold spanning from one side to the other. This you have the liberty of drawing and this will continue for the entire inner membrane. See I have come to the other side and I am trying to draw the diagram as I want but still maintaining the diameter and the distance between the inner and the outer membranes. So that is your inner membrane which has been thrown into finger like projections. These finger like projections are known as Christi. Now inside the mitochondria just like any other cell organelle we have a jelly like matrix. So we will put dots, when you are putting dots make sure these dots are neat and you do not put dots like this. So I do not want dots like this, I want proper dots. So be calm and steady and when you are putting dots do not move your pencil too much. Just touch the page and you will see those dots are much neater than if you are trying to force and draw a dot. And if you have taken a proper pencil, if you have taken a 2B pencil, these dots will come out even better if you just simply touch the page. So this is the matrix. What else is present in the mitochondria? On the surface of the Christie, there are some tennis racket shaped structures. If you remember, these are called F particles. So I will draw, I will draw these tennis racket shaped structures. So we will draw a head and a stalk. Now this should stay on the entire inner membrane but we do not want to make the diagram very untidy. So we will just draw it these structures that is the F particles on one or two Christi. If you want you can draw it on two, if you want you can draw it on one basically just to show that a structure like this exists. Mitochondria as you remember has its own DNA. So we will draw one DNA and it is just one DNA that we will draw here. Along with the DNA now we are going to draw some ribosomes for protein synthesis. So the ribosomes, the size of the ribosomes should be larger than the size of the dots that you have used for drawing the matrix. So these are the ribosomes and that is the structure of your mitochondria. So now let us label this. So now we will be drawing a dotted line. You can draw a dotted line or you can draw a very faint line here and we will be labeling the path. So we will remember the rules of labeling. The lines for the labeling should be drawn with a ruler and not just freehand and the lines should be parallel to each other. So we are labeling all the parts and everything should be labeled in block letters. All right. So let us label, so this is the outer membrane, this is the inner membrane. 
I will also label the space in between the two membranes which is known as the perimitochondrial space. Then these are the finger like projections which are known as Christi, singular is Christa, plural is Christi. This we will label as F particles, then we label the ribosomes, this is the DNA and finally the matrix. Okay? That is the structure of our mitochondria and as always do not forget to give a heading or a footer. I am giving a footer here. Since this is a single mitochondrion, so I will write mitochondrion. But if you are drawing more than one, you can write mitochondria. Okay? So that is how you draw a mitochondria in no time. Hope you found this video useful. Do practice the diagram and I am sure you will be able to draw it easily. Hit the like button and share out this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, please check out our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy for full courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. All the links are given below. Stay connected with us and keep learning.